What's up guys, my name is Super Cho. Today I'm going to show you how to use the new PS Remote Play and how to connect it with your Android. Alright, let's go. So those are the things you need. Your PS4, PS Pro connected to your home broadband network. Compatible device also connected to your network. Your free PS4 Remote Play app. Dual Shock 4 wireless controller, at least 5 megabytes, 12 megabytes via LAN cable for the best experience. Compatible PS4 game. Alright, which devices are compatible? You can use the PS4 Remote Play on any of these devices when they're connected to your home breadboard network. Alright, we're doing it for Android, so let's download it for Android. It is going to take you to Google Play right away to the PS4 Remote Play app. Alright, but the first thing I want to show you guys, before you can actually use the PS Remote Play, you need to do a couple of settings on your PS4. So let's get into that right now. Okay guys, we are here in the PS4. I'm going to show you a couple of settings which you need before you download the app for your phone and you actually do the, the remote play so first thing you're gonna need to do is go all the way down in the settings to remote play connection settings and actually enable the remote play you gotta click on that I have already enabled that so here you go I've clicked it. next setting you need is uh, to set your PS4's primary so you go to your account management and uh, activate as your primary PS4 I have already activated that you should activate that too and of course final setting guys go to power safe settings set features available in the rest mode and uh, enable turning on PS4 from network you should turn that on right here and alright this should, this are all the settings you need and now let's continue with the app alright guys now that we are back to the PS remote play we are uh, ready to download the app and to show you guys how to use it all right let's download the app real quick all right uh, guys it's downloaded so let's open it up and welcome to ps remote play so first thing you want to do is sign in of course all right there you provide confirm and continue i'm going to show you this setting a little bit later all right first thing First things first, after you have done all the settings, I mean enabling your PS4 as a primary, as a primary PS4, enabling the remote play, all of those stuff that I showed you, now we're ready to connect. After this, you can connect. Alright, let's go. Connect to PS4, now you just wait for connection. You have to have your PS4 turned on in order for this to work. You don't need a cable or any of those stuff, just, uh, just turn on your PS4. You don't even need your controller to be working. Alright, linking your PS4, connecting. And it should, it should be done any sec. Alright guys, I'm going to be back to my camera. Unfortunately, I cannot record the remote play on my phone. I don't know why, but I still can show you that it works over here after I enabled it. There you go. Uh, you can see that it works, you know, I can switch up and down click click the buttons and everything everything works now actually uh while i record is going to be way better way easier to show you how to actually connect your controller so here we go all right guys when you're uh back to your main menu you're gonna see a little control button over here up here right next to the settings you're gonna click that button you want to click that button right now and it's going to give you an explanation of how to use your DualShock actually. Now I'm going to read it to you real quick. To connect the DualShock 4, press the share button and the PS button right at the same time until the light bar starts blinking. When the light bar is lit, go to the Bluetooth settings of this device and connect to the DualShock 4. Alright, so here's what we're going to do. I'm going to turn on my Bluetooth over here. Yep, my Bluetooth is on right now. And uh... I'm gonna see how it works with the controller so you want to click the the PS button and the share button over here so you click it and this is the light you should see after it appears so you hold it and this is it the way it blinks that's how it should be all right and there you have it on my phone I already see the option uh, wireless controller you can read it over here so I connect it yes I wanna share the devices and done it should be connected now let's try it out let's try it out i'm gonna get back to the remote play app 
come on. All right, I'm gonna connect once again. <laughs> I'm gonna connect once again. Connecting to the PS4. All right, everything is uh, it's connected. This should be done. All right, let me turn it uh, around this way. All right, let me hold the controller. And there you go, it works. As you can see, I'm moving the controller. I'm touching the buttons. It's obvious that it works, and that's how you also use your uh, controller. Yep, you can actually see in the background there is my TV. I can use it from <laughs> from here. It's also connected with the phone and basically with your PS4, which is nice. All right, guys, and that's how you connect your PS3 remote play to your Android. All right, guys, I really hope that this video have helped you out. If you have any questions, make sure to ask me in the comments. I will make sure to answer to you. And yeah, guys, this is going to be it for me. Bye-bye. I'll see you in the next one.